My name is Piat, and I'll talk to you about how the gut bacteria, liver cancer, and maternal obesity are connected. We live in a time of a global obesity epidemic. Abundance of industrialized food and decreasing physical activity have led to a constantly rising obesity rate, so much so that half of the U.S. population is predicted to be obese by 2030. Obesity is a major public health concern and can lead to chronic liver disease and liver cancer. We also know that obesity alters the gut bacteria called microbiome, and this plays a key role in the progression of chronic liver disease. On the other hand, pregnancy is a crucial period for the later development of a child. We all know that smoking or drinking alcohol can have devastating effects on the fetus. However, surprisingly little is known on how maternal obesity affects the child to be born. We know that the gut microbiome is transmitted from the mother to the offspring at birth. Does this transmission of an altered microbiome contribute to the decreased health of offspring of obese mothers? The goal of my project is to prevent harm for future generations by studying the impact of maternal obesity on liver disease. To answer these questions, we used a mouse model and publicly available data sets. We found that offspring of obese mothers develop signs of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease despite receiving a normal diet. More importantly, these offspring also have a higher risk to develop liver cancer. We also confirmed that the gut microbiome is altered in offspring of obese mothers. When we normalized the altered microbiome, this not only normalized the altered metabolism, but also normalized the risk to develop liver cancer. In summary, maternal obesity induces a higher risk to develop chronic liver disease and liver cancer. Children of obese mothers have an altered microbiome, and this weakened microbiome is likely responsible for the increased risk. This brings us to the last and most important point, the development of a preventive therapy. Probiotic supplementation is already available and well tolerated for a number of indications. With my project, we studied the effect of specific bacteria strain on the progression of liver disease. This could potentially represent a first step towards the development of a probiotic supplementation. We are convinced that this will help to prevent harm to millions of children that are about to be born.